Good evening, I'm Greg Parker. Indiana University Bloomington student Gregory Willoughby had apparently been dead for several days before his body was discovered on Tuesday in his Wilkie dorm room. The 21-year-old Indianapolis native was found lying next to a bucket of chemicals that investigators believe produced a deadly gas. Although an autopsy was conducted, the Monroe County coroner says Willoughby's official cause of death won't be known until a toxicology report is complete. A 39-year-old man wanted for child molesting ended his life following a standoff with Indianapolis police. Authorities believe that Alfred Grice died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound after he fired a shot at officers through the front door of an apartment on the city's west side. Though no officers were hit by any bullets, one did suffer a minor scrape while attempting to duck for cover. After a long period of time of police attempting to negotiate with Grice, the department SWAT team finally fired tear gas into the apartment and then later, once the gas subsided, sent in a remote-controlled robot with a camera. It was there where police discovered Grice's body lying in a bedroom. A police report indicates that Grice was suspected of raping a 12-year-old girl twice in October 2009. The executive director of Free Press says the future of journalism rests in the public's hands. WTIU's Noel Brennan reports. The U.S. government spent more on office furniture last year than it did on public media. And Josh Silver says policy continues to favor big media. The media companies, the broadcasters, cable companies, phone companies, they are the second most influential and highest spending uh, interests in Washington, D.C., second only to pharmaceuticals. They represent a juggernaut. Silver says change can start with the individual. He urged audience members to take home bumper stickers, pamphlets, and other materials promoting the cause. The only thing that's going to beat them back and be able to create public interest policies for independent, diverse media, uh, for journalism that can, uh, that can survive in the 21st century, is an organized movement of people who care and are willing to, uh, to work towards uh, better policies in the public interest. Reporting for WTIU News, I'm Noel Brennan. And looking at your weather forecast for tonight, clear with a low around 52 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, highs around 84. And tomorrow night, partly cloudy, lows up to 57 degrees. And moving into the five-day forecast, the only day with thunderstorms, mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of them, highs in the mid-70s, lows in the lower 40s. And Saturday and Sunday, mostly clear, highs in the mid-60s, lows in the upper 30s. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.